Welcome back, guys. Another episode of Talkman Tuesday with yours truly, Angel and Sawyer. Back at it again. I'm just going to keep it short for the intro. I'm going to roll it. <laughs> it's Tuesday, Tuesday, Talkman Tuesday. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday, Talkman Tuesday. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah! I think I was whistling our intro without being muted, uh, so it's my bad, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, how's your week going? The week has gone pretty good so far. No really big complaints. Um, yesterday was Candace's birthday, Ooh. so we went on a little bike ride, went to the steak restaurant... Um, just relaxed a bit, so it's been a pretty, pretty solid week so far. How was the steak? Uh, I had a chicken sandwich. What? Did <laughs> 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 Candace have a steak? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Did she just look at you and was like, are you really having a chicken sandwich at a steak place? Well, this, this place has like a really good chicken sandwich, so... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things I always get the steak when we go there and stuff like, yeah, I'm gonna try something new. Mm. And that's good. Mm. That's good. There you go. How's your week going? It's going pretty good. Worked out twice this week. Um, cousin's actually joining me this week, so that's good. She hasn't joined me like the past two weeks. And she's been busy. But at first she was like, Oh no, I can't believe I missed your tag. That's just like I don't call it out through text. I just call it out like in person. Cause I, I just like yeah. see the reaction. It's like, do you really think we would like, believe that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, oh, you oh no, <laughs> my phone was not on vibrate. <laughs> She's. I think she did it like two or three times. Like, I can't believe I'm barely seeing this message. Um, I'm sorry. And it's like a day later. And I'm like, you do realize like whenever I see you, you're on your phone twenty four seven. Like, who do you think you're fooling? <laughs> she's just like, yeah, you got me. And then she's like, yeah. But tomorrow she's gone. Yeah. So I'll be good. Good. Is, does, doesn't she have a boyfriend that goes with? Is that still a thing? He wants to try it out, but I haven't like officially done it. I think we got to wow. get her to be more consistent. And then once she's more consistent, then mm. he'll probably join in if he wants to join in in the AM. Yeah. Or they could end up both going in the afternoon or something. Yeah. Because it's work first. Oh, that's good. You got your own little squad going. Yeah. Um, And the open was actually last week. So it's it's ongoing. This week's going to be the second week of the open. Do you about the CrossFit open? No. Uh, I've, I've seen it on TV a couple of times. Mm. But that might be like the actual CrossFit, like massive competition. Like CrossFit finalists, games. So. So for people to go to the CrossFit yeah, games, I think that's what it was. they do like, um, I guess to see where everybody's at, kind of say who's the top 10% of the world mm-hmm. type of thing, who's going to go into the games. They have, I want to say, four or five workouts every Friday in the spring so people can like determine who's in the top 10% and go into like the regionals, then like the sectionals, and then like be official to the games. So... This past week, usually the first one is pretty, I mean, pretty easy. So, I think I did pretty well. Just like the workouts are easy, and then the workouts progressively get harder and harder. Yeah. And then you gotcha. have to scale it down, and you're like, is this even the workout? <laughs> but if you go to YouTube and like watch the CrossFit games, they, they go to like such a rhythm and beat, you're like, I could do that. And then you actually try it, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think the top person, I can't I can't do it <laughs> the top person did it like 13 rounds of this workout guess how many I did 13 rounds was the top person you did two. Oh, that's good I did double that I did four <laughs> okay there you go <laughs> I was like he did 13 so I think I could do like half of it so like six is pretty good and then our, the fittest person at our gym did like eight and he was like huffing and puffing like puking at the eighth round I'm like maybe four sounds good <laughs> and that's a, and, and this is the easy round though so it's just gonna keep getting harder and harder yeah and 
This time I actually RX. So like you RX is like the prescribed weight. Mm-hmm. So like, I think the the um the ones that are harder. I just want to just scale it down because I'm like I, I'm gonna need so much rest time that it's like yeah, yeah it, you're not even gonna be getting it like one round maybe. Mm-hmm. They're just scale it down. Yeah. And just like just keep moving. Like, okay, scale it down. Yeah. Just keep moving. That's even hard. But like like this ground feels so nice right now. I just like want to stay here. <laughs> Get up. I feel like that's the key, though, with CrossFit. Like, you do what you need to do, kind of, to, to get it completed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, because if you don't do that, you get injured. Like, someone's mm-hmm. like, you do too much weight, and then you, slot, like, don't do proper form, and then just go mm-hmm. But, you know what today is? Um, Today is Fat Tuesday. Is it really? Yeah, we well, didn't know. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of snuck up on me. They did it on the. They said it on the news. Um, I'm like, oh my gosh. What besides Fat Tuesday? What is today? <laughs> I didn't even realize it was Fat Tuesday. Uh, it's Founders Day. Oh, woohoo! <laughs> And the limited- Sunday evening, March first, eighteen sixty-eight. Yep, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm tapping out. <laughs> Founders Day for opportunity. <laughs> Sunday evening, March first, eight sixty-eight. Yeah, yeah. I need to look it up. <laughs> it's like it's crazy. Like, we knew that like the back of our hand voluntarily um, in college. <laughs> And now it's like, no, I don't remember any of that stuff. Uh, Sunday evening, March 1st, 1868, University of Virginia. For the establishment of friendship on a firmer and more lasting basis for the promotion of brotherly love and kind feeling. Okay, that's good. Yeah, more than me. <laughs> Much more than me. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I, I got my I book looked, somewhere. I looked it up, so that's why I'm reading it off the screen. Oh. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> like, once I look at it, I'm like, it wasn't that long, but then I'm like, we knew, like, yeah, we knew all of it. For the mutual benefit mm-hmm. and management of the interest of those with whom we sympathize and deem worthy of our regard, the result of form of fraternity, believing that thus we can most successfully accomplish our object, and then lists the six founders. Robson Howard, Julian Edward Wood, James Bishop Slaughter Jr., Frederick Southgate Taylor, Lewis and Wallace Haswood, Bradford, William Alexander, Doing that just brought back so many memories. <laughs> I'm like, I knew the people. I got the people as you were going through them. <laughs> uh, did you do anything fun for Fat Tuesday? I didn't. No. Um, really, no. I'll probably have a slice of cheesecake after this. Um, but nothing really crazy on my end. I've been lame. I mean, I'll be the first to say that I've been lame. But... <laughs> Have you tried McDonald's new hack menu? It's like the infamous... No, I think that is the silliest <laughs> thing. It's like the surf and turf. It's you get a filet of fish and you get a quarter pounder and then you put them together. It's like, <laughs> no, that doesn't even sound tasty. Please don't tell me that you've done it and you really like some of them. <laughs> okay, so I ordered the land, air, and sea burger, right? Okay, wait, land, air, and sea. So you got the fish, chicken, and beef. So, um, uh, what's it? What's that? McDonald's. Famous burger. I, the name's slipping up. The Big Mac? The Big Mac. There you go. I'm like, it's a simple name. The Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Big Mac. I got the fish. And then, I think it was a McChicken. Maybe, mm-hmm. but you're supposed to like combine it all together. You know what I did? I just ate them separately. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I'm not gonna go through the work if I order that and they give me three separate sandwiches. Like, I'm gonna eat the three separate sandwiches. I'm not gonna go through the effort of putting them together on my own. I couldn't finish the Big Mac. It was just too much. And I'm like, this is a sign. That it's okay to like, stop eating food. <laughs> I need to do that. I was gonna say. 
when you said that you got those three separate sandwiches, I'm like, there's no way I could finish eating all three of those. Like, I would probably get, like, the fish in halfway through the McChicken or something. But, like, I wouldn't even try the Big Mac because it would just be like you did. The Big Mac and then I'm done. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, because I usually just get the Big Mac and, yeah, and I'm full. And I'm like, that's mm-hmm. good enough. Wait for my stomach to start rumbling again. I'm like, oh, man. I just... Every time I eat fast food, I'm, like, really thirsty. Especially if I eat it late at night. Oh, man. I wake up, with like, so <laughs> thirsty. And, like, why am I so dehydrated? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the only one I tried. I might try the other ones. They've got the, the breakfast one, too. Because, what, it's a, it's a hash brown on something. Mm. Maybe, like, a big griddle or something. Have you tried one of these breakfast some- menus? So the only breakfast menu I've ever done is McDonald's. I haven't done Wendy's or I haven't done Burger King or I know Taco Bell has their own too. Like I've only done McDonald's breakfast. Burger King is upping their prices for the Whopper and down the number of nuggets you get because of prices going up. Huh. I think I saw that on an Instagram post, so I'm not too sure if that's true or not. <laughs> Well, they Burger King was the place that they did like ten nuggets for a dollar or something like that, and I'm like, if you can sell ten nuggets for a dollar, you're obviously making a profit on that. Still, I mean, you probably just shorter, but like, mm. no, like I know, like I will pay a little bit more and get McDonald's nuggets mm. just because they look better. Mm. Like I don't want it. Uh, I mean. I'm not a big fan of Burger King, mm. just to say the least. Hot take alert, oh. but I will avoid Burger King like the plague. Why? I just think it's a dirty place. Ah! I mean, not that like a McDonald's is like the cleanest <laughs> place on the world, but I mean, Burger King, there was that story about how they had like some like insects or something was in this guy's patty one time uh-huh. and he sued, so then they like shut down for a bit. And there's a Burger King near my house growing up, and I just remember seeing there was a dead cockroach on one side of the the drive through screen, and so I just avoid them <sighs> if I can, because ugh, I don't really have any good things to say. So, as Mother said, if you don't have anything nice, don't say anything at all, so I am being quiet. <laughs> um, <laughs> looking at fast food places now, like, tell me how many of them outside their establishment have trash cans that, like, pack. I'm like, why is this everywhere? <laughs> is everyone yeah. just like short staffed or something? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I feel I feel like people are, are less and less working for like fast food chains. Uh-huh. Like, what do they do? How is there like I don't know what's going on? And then, um. I think my dad went out to eat one time for like lunch and he was like, yeah, there's only one uh, server and like it was packed. So we took, they took their sweet time <laughs> there. Like, what? What is going on? And then we get some owners of restaurants like, yeah, we just can't find anybody to work. What? <laughs> so. Oh, okay. <laughs> like there are teenagers everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but luckily for some reason, we usually get asked of like if there's work here and I'm like not right now, but like summertime. When it picks up yeah. more. We might have something. Yeah. But it's starting to. Ooh. I feel like a grocery store is where it's at because it's mainly just like stocking shelves and making throw everything's up. Making sure everything's up. Mm-hmm. Or being like the cashier or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mostly yeah. And then as long as you have uh good relationships with people. Cause I think that's what gets some people mm-hmm. in the butcher area or like just dealing with people because some people are going to come in pissed. Nothing to do with you, but like if you take it personal, then then retail yeah. is not for you. If you take the stuff personally. Yeah. Cause some, just in general. Because mm-hmm. some people do that and I'm like, it's the, yeah, we can't control what customers do. But yeah. Did you do the John to- John John to- John Jodo tour? Jodo tour? Pokemon no, Go? I don't think so. No, 
You didn't do like so. show tour tour. There was Lugia. There was Ho Ho. <laughs> I'll make. I'm sorry. I feel bad again. <laughs> no. Well, it's also again my wife's birthday and her family came up because it's also my mother in law's birthday too. <gasps> Candace Ooh. and her mom. They have a birthday day apart, so I was kind of preoccupied this weekend. Ah, uh, okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, it was Saturday. So get off my back. <laughs> hey, you guys are really good. Uh, uh, what is it? Excuse me. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's true. <laughs> I was trying to like, find a better word for excuse. He has a good alibi. There we go. Alibi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 It was 9 to 9 Saturday, and... Um, it's probably one of the bigger, bigger events on Pokemon Go. The next one's going to probably be like that big of an event like in the summertime. Hopefully Mewtwo's back. Mm-hmm. But I had level 40. Were there any shiny Pokemon that were out? Mm-hmm. Well, Begin's still out. And then, yeah, Entei, Raikou, Suicune all had shinies. As well as Lugia and Ho-Ho. 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 <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, can't make a wife out of a hoe. Oh. <laughs> I did get a shiny Lugia, though. Not, none of the other legendaries, though. Oh, you did? I got two. Two Ooh, shiny Lugias. Got, oh, two. Dang. Same account or same account. different accounts? Same account. I think I went, Dang. Yeah, because the other one... Yeah. I was too busy to focus on one because my sister... Um, went on a uh, trip, so I had to work all day that day. So I was like literally helping people mm-hmm. out and like trying to do raids at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll be with you in a second. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there was a customer that came in and he saw me playing. And he's like, oh, let me add you. I hardly play, but like, let me add you. I'm like, okay. Uh, and I added him. I'd be like, no, it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> sir. <laughs> the bad part is... <laughs> Since I do do raids a lot, I do delete people and add them because, like, for, like raids in Poke Genie, you add people and then like you're only gonna see them like once or something. I just delete them. Yeah. Afterwards. So I might, yeah. I might have deleted him already, but hopefully, he doesn't take it personally. Poor guy. <laughs> I didn't oh, he will. Too. He's gonna come back and be like, "Dude, what the heck? <laughs> you added me, then you deleted me." I'm like, I thought we had something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> my issue with Pokemon Go is I am 40 items over the max in my backpack. Hmm. And so like I can't be opening people's presents just because I don't have the space to open presents. No so, way. They, no. <laughs> no. I earned those I Sorry. <laughs> I will I will slowly use them. You you could not if you are opening gifts, you cannot use all your Items faster than you can open gifts and you'll see the same ones. I know that's why I have way too many items. <laughs> you can literally, and then I don't like how many... if I'm still behind at the end of the week, then I get like 10 more Pokeballs, and I'm like, well, now we're just <laughs> adding more and more to my, my list. <laughs> like, I feel like if you have 100 Pokeballs, you should be good and you could delete like the rest. And then, Let's see how many I have. And then potions, you'll need like... I don't have too many Pokeballs. I don't even really know where all of my items are coming from. I've got... I've got 38 Pokeballs, 64 Great Balls, and 47 Ultra Balls. Which, like, isn't a crazy amount, but I've got 49 Hyper Potions, 52 Max Potions, and then 50 Revive and 50 Max Revive. You, you could delete that. <laughs> That's where I can start probably getting... You, yeah, you, you could start getting rid of some of those, but I'm not gonna. You could delete all those hyper potions and all those uh, simple revives. Because the max potions and the max revives, knowing how you play and how much time you actually play, you're not gonna use those anytime soon. At least with the uh, both, yeah. Because <laughs> you have to do a lot. See, I'm scared too because I'm like, I'm gonna need it. I've gotta need it. You have the max potion, which is better than the hyper potion, and the max revive is better than the revive. Yeah. <laughs> And in a week, you'll probably get them back. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, and then I've got 50 of each berry. Don't tell me you, so, you have the banana berry. 
That was useless. Oh, well, I use that to feed my little pet. You can throw all those out. Uh, <laughs> nope. That was useless. Keeping them. <laughs> and then if you have um, golden berries. This is why I will never be the very best. <laughs> Discipline, Sawyer. Discipline. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, like to see. I, I use my golden berries for raids if I I like the uh, Pokemon. Golden berries or pineapple berries? Golden. Should I be using the silver pineapple ones oh, instead? Oh, <laughs> like, wait, golden ras, golden pineapple, what are they raspberries. But that just makes them happier. So I use the golden raspberry. Yeah. I use that after I get, like, a raid of a Pokemon that I like. But that I need. You don't use the pineapple? Is it pineapple? No. Nope. But the pineapple gives you an extra candy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. If you catch it. And, and if you're, like, free to play, you're going to have very few candies of that Pokemon. So... Uh, Yep. So yes, you should use the pineapple berry or the silver pineapple berry, <laughs> not the golden raspberry, because golden raspberry just nope. ma- makes him happy. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer, <laughs> this is this is a lesson in Pokemon yeah. Go. I love it how you're like Sawyer. You are not doing this smartly, <laughs> and I'm just like, nope, not doing it my way. <laughs> <laughs> and some people even mega evolve a Pokemon of the same. Um, type so they can get one extra candy of that legendary if they're like trying to rate it a lot for their candy because to max out it's like level 50 never mega evolved oh you need to get mega i don't really know what mega evolving does so i just avoid it it makes your pokemon the strongest form and it only lasts for eight hours <laughs> <laughs> which helps out in raids and helps I mean, yeah what am i gonna do in eight hours <laughs> I'm not gonna do much. <laughs> oh, it was like um, a community day where like uh, a lot of Pokemon are spawning on the same one. You can mega evolve that same type of Pokemon, and you get one extra candy every time you catch that type of Pokemon. Ah, uh, so I should have done that with my Bulbasaur's. Right. So you could have mega evolved, and I haven't. I didn't realize how good it was until like just recently now, because it helps out. I just recently did it too because I always saw that tip, but I just never really followed it. Yeah. And then yeah. raids. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you know. Because to max out a Pokemon, <laughs> learn something new every day. Especially with just like raids, you're going to need to do like 50 to 60 raids to like max it out. And that's like a lot of raids. <laughs> I try to max out my Lugia and I'm like. How do people have a max out Lugia? I'm like, I try to do the math. I'm like, that's like 50 to 60 raids. What? <laughs> and it's just the Mega Evolve. No, Lugia doesn't have... Only certain types of Pokemon have Mega Evolved. I guess, yeah. Because, like, the Venusaur has a Mega Evolve. Hmm. But Lugia wouldn't, or really any of the other legendaries, right? No, not... Not so far, I believe. Like, oh yeah! Can you imagine a, a mega evolved Mewtwo. Oh, oh Mewtwo is uh, on, on like it's in its own league. You have you have the strongest Pokemon mm-hmm. in the game, but you don't have the candy to power yeah. up to like what? But he's weak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's it has a, <laughs> a lot of people want that Pokemon. Yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah, Generation Seven Pokemon are currently out. They say that. Yeah, well, you didn't say it here. We Snapchatted about it. Mm. Um, have you caught any of them? I've caught in three. Mm. Yeah, I think you caught in something like that, too. Yeah, okay. Enough for Pokemon Go. That's a big rant. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a Pokemon Go um, podcast every once in a while. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to leave with these tips for it because I you don't know how many how many tips videos I watched. 
You don't want to know. You don't want to. You're like, help me help you. So I help me help you. And I'm like, no, 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 do my own thing. I'm doing it my way. I'm going to keep my revives and max revives, even though I probably don't even yep. use one a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and knowing that logic that you don't even use one a day, you probably get more <laughs> in, the, in the week. Just spinning things. Yeah, it's spinning. And. The friends benefits, it's the fastest way to get XP. Which, that's mm-hmm. why some people max out, or like, send as many gifts as they can, which is 100. And to do that, to send 100 gifts and open to, like, the 20 gifts, that's usually, like, an hour and 15 minutes. Which is insane. So, if people do, like, the minimum work of, like, an hour, they usually do that. Send gifts, open gifts, and, like, and spin the up so you get the gifts. And, like, catch water... Pokemon to get that streak bonus. But yeah, that's... I tried it for a while, and I'm like, oh. Once I got to, like, um, the level Mark was at, I'm like, I think I'm good. I could relax. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I would have the patience to spend an hour, hour and a half in Pokemon Go just sending gifts and receiving gifts. Like, that doesn't sound like an enjoyable use of my time. You just gotta grind. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I don't think I want to grind like that, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I'm good. I am good with my level whatever. My... Yeah. It's understandable. I, like how... I just don't have what it takes, like I said. <laughs> and I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I like how some people, there was like a meme of like, um, at age 28, my parents were like having their first baby. And like me at age 28, I try to be the very best. <laughs> like no one ever was. <laughs> Probably like the very best is a YouTuber. And he, he, yeah, he plays. He does his first hour, send gifts. And then he just plays. Like, every time I see his screen, he has a lucky egg. And an incense. Incense? Incense. Incense. There you go. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow. That's such a... I mean, I, I wonder how much money he's used on the game itself. Like, and he has maxed out legendary Pokemon, so that's a 56 rate per Pokemon. I'm like, oh, that's insane! Absolutely insane. Wait, sorry. To each their own. Yeah. To each their own. <laughs> All right, sorry. Enough of Pokemon Go. Would you rather remember everyone's name you've ever met or know how to mix every cocktail ever made? Not really related, but both super useful skills, especially for networking. That is assuming you hang out with people who drink or you want to be a bartender. I feel like I'd want to know people's names, like remember everybody's name, because I feel like that could get you farther in life than knowing how to mix every cocktail, unless like you wanted to rise up in the bar scene. I mean, that would be cool, but I think I'd be going for the names. I feel like that would be more useful for me personally. The logic is great. I want to be a bartender. <laughs> I've yeah, to be that's what you're going with. <laughs> yeah. I think it's so cool. I mean, it would be 100% a really cool party trick. And, like, you could rise the ranks if you know every single drink and how to make it. Like, you could become, like, the head bartender. You just need, like, the speed and everything that goes with it. But And then that smooth talk. Start up conversation. Let me know all your problems, sir. Keep drinking. <laughs> Keep drinking. By the way, can I do anything for you? No, I'll just do a beer. But I can do anything. Nope, just a beer is fine. <laughs> I can open it from my boot. You got boots on? What? <laughs> okay. Would you rather be given a top tier gaming PC or a top tier Apple computer? Both are the same price. I guess in the end, this is more of a brand loyalty question. But could still be fun to answer. That's an easy one for me because I don't have Apple products, so I'm not going to start off. With it, so I'd like to pick the high end gaming PC. Did you just never go into like the the rabbit hole of Apple? You're just like not interested, or I did. I I was in the rabbit hole of Apple in 
But like high school, I think uh-huh. I had an iPhone. <gasps> but then I got an Android for whatever reason. I think my dad switched over to Androids, and so then I got one when he like upgraded the phones because we're obviously on the same plan. Uh-huh. Um, and so then we switched over, and like I just haven't really looked back. Oh. So both of your Apple products. Yeah. People and then you just went to Android. Wow. Mm-hmm. My whole family. I, I guess no, my mom is still Apple. My mom is still very much Apple. I'm not sure. I think my sister's Apple too, actually. So yeah, the girls are Apple, the guys are Android. Oh. One of my friends just got like the new um, iPhone and he's like, we just keep getting the same iPhone every year, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. I mean, it's like you guys keep getting the same iPhone that then is slowly trying to pivot into like the customizations that um, Android has had for years. Androids have. And we're like, we've been having this, guys. Like, welcome to the party. <laughs> Do you have a Fitbit? No. I do not have a Fitbit. I used to have a Fitbit. So my, my story behind my Fitbit was I had a bunch of Best Buy gift cards and I, it was like right around Christmas time and I was saving up on my own and I bought myself with my gift cards a Fitbit because I'm like, okay, I'm going to use this more. Uh-huh. And then for Christmas, my dad got me uh, the Samsung smartwatch, uh-huh. um, which is essentially a Fitbit and more. Uh-huh. And so like, I'm like, well... I don't need my Fitbit anymore. So I had a Fitbit for approximately like two, three weeks maybe. And then I didn't need it anymore. So I think I returned it and got credit back. Ooh. Cause Mark has a Fitbit and he's like, you can add me on Fitbit. I'm like, I don't have a Fitbit anymore. I used to have a Fitbit. And I think I broke like two, two or three of them. And like by the third one, I'm like, okay, I'm done. No more Fitbit. I'm sorry. <laughs> How did you break it? Just the band? I don't even remember. It just wouldn't register. Like my steps or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I was really getting into it with Steven. Because Steven was like, his steps were... I think he would average anywhere between like 6,000 and like 10,000 steps on like a regular day because he would walk so much. And usually the person, Mm -hmm. the average person gets like (laughs) 2,000. Yeah. I, I actually think I had a Fitbit a little bit earlier, too, because I remember I was a part of that little competition oh, group, uh-huh. and it was essentially just that battle for second place, because Steven was just <laughs> so far ahead of everybody. We were all just like, what are we doing? Like, who's going to get second? We're not getting first. <laughs> uh, I think I beat him, like, once, and I was so proud of it, because he was sick. <laughs> Because you set out just to beat him that week. <laughs> yep, that, I remember that. And I knew he was sick, so he wasn't getting his astronomical steps in. He was still getting better than everybody else, even though he was sick. And I'm like, I need to beat him. So <laughs> this is my chance. He's weak. Let's go. <laughs> this week, he's not feeling good. I can do it. Because, <laughs> yeah, he would walk to, like, his... Or he would go on all of his runs. And then he would, like, walk to his rowing team stuff, like... Then row. And then he actually worked that day. He delivered Pepsi products to stores. That's so a lot of walking there. This is wild. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were part of that competition group. I think Mark's trying to start one. I'm mm-hmm. like, I got no Fitbit, man. Yeah. Mark, I hate to say you're, you're a couple of years too late on the Fitbit competitions. <laughs> But, I mean, that's a cool way to, like, I guess, compete with one another. Make it a game. That. I, if I did that nowadays, I would lose just because I don't walk <laughs> crazy much. Like, I go to the gym and I work out now, which is great because, like, it's good for my health. But, like, I'm not walking around like I, I used to. Like, I don't go on jogs or anything like that. Uh-huh. So, it will be like, Sawyer, 40 steps. It's like, Sawyer, you only had 40 steps? Yeah, what did I do? 40 steps back and forth to the bathroom all day. Like, ooh. <laughs> Hey, you see Candace looking at you. He was like, sorry, why are you walking in a circle? I need to get my steps in. <laughs> I'm in a competition. <laughs> uh, that was a while back. All right. Would you rather type faster or dance better? You can decide how these scale. 
maybe fastest typist in the world versus the 10th best dancer or something along those lines. I'm dancing better. Um, I would just like to preface this by saying I am a stud on the dance floor, um, but no, that's a complete lie. But um, <laughs> no, I would say I, I dance. I feel like I type at a decent enough speed where like it doesn't matter. Um, like I'm not super slow or anything like that. And so I feel like the big bigger improvement can be made on the dance floor. So I'm going with that one. I'm trying to think of like when I see a story dance. It's gonna, I guess group setting. I, I mean, I'm not just dancing on my own in my living room or anything, so. You, you don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I do dance. <laughs> yeah, you gotta practice moves. <laughs> so it's in your, your shot. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I would look up YouTube videos to learn how to dance, like, this, different types of Latin dances for, like, enseñeras. And... That's mm-hmm. actually how I learned. It's just like mm-hmm. in my room, YouTube videos and doing different types of dances. So then when I actually got, got to a quinceanera, I actually knew how to dance the steps and do some spins. Like, oh, I got practice. Huh. But yeah, it was, it was just me <laughs> in my room alone dancing. <laughs> hey, you know what? We all need our space. So no worries there. I love that if a girl made fun of me, I would like. That I feel like that's my sign to be like, you want to go dance with me? And since she already made fun of me, she I thought she basically was like, okay. <laughs> and then she stopped making fun of me. And then I started making fun of sure. her. <laughs> I'm like, you're making fun of me? Have you seen your stanley steps? She's like, shut up. <laughs> like, okay. You got two left feet. <laughs> <laughs> you have two left feet? <sighs> I haven't heard that one. <laughs> Oh, right. sorry. Would you rather have infrared, infrared, uh, infrared vision that you can turn on and off at will, or twenty times normal telescopic vision, binocular or night vision? Both super useful. Both could be used for good or ill, or just totally mundane things like not turning on the light when you get up in the middle of the night, or reading faraway signs. Hmm. I feel like the far away signs one would be cool, but I feel like I would use the infrared more. Like even if it's just like getting up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night without having to turn on the lights or something. That'd be so. I'm nice. gonna go with that one because then you could do like if you're driving late at night or something like that. I really don't like driving late at night because of that. I feel like I can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> I can only see like so the there you steps. go. Now with your infrared vision. <laughs> uh, I'm like, please, please, no deer, come out of nowhere, because I'm not going to see that deer. <laughs> and I'm like, I just need to look at the, like, a few steps ahead of me, and I'll be good. And that just reminded me of, like, the videos of, like, you know what you want to do in life? You know, like, when you're driving late at night, you only see the few steps ahead, and you just keep going. That's what you need to do. <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> that's a very basic comparison, but that's so true. Uh, at the same time, <laughs> like, you don't need to know. Anything. Have that end goal in mind, but just focus on the steps that you need to take to get there, one at a time. Well, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> For those who are like, like way too young to remember that, that's Finding Nemo. <laughs> Go watch it. I feel, like, I feel like a majority of the population has seen Finding Nemo. If they're like from our age, yes, but they're younger. Would they? I guess if you're if you're younger, let us know how you got a, a hold of our podcast because I'm curious. Because uh. <laughs> <laughs> like when you you know you're getting old when like schools have uh what two thousands theme now. I'm like that's how, that's how we used to dress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, wait a second. Or that Super Bowl. Yeah, they were like early two thousands parties. Like, what? 
a Super Bowl comment. I was like, finally, they're having somebody young at the Super Bowl. It's not somebody old who I don't know. Like, wait a minute. It's still some old <laughs> performer. You're just the one getting old. <laughs> For all the kids, they don't know who I'm going to be. Or... Yeah. They're like, come on, I have JoJo Siwa pop up there. Like, somebody young. Like, who's... And we're like, yeah, it's our music. <laughs> who's 50 Cent? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oi, oh, yeah. Sawyer. Would you rather be a great success in your personal life or your professional life? The age-old question of family or career. It's real hard to have both. What does a personal success or a success in your personal life mean? That's a great question. A great family person? A great dad and husband? I just feel like... Yeah, so, I mean, if I'm choosing to be either a great dad and a great husband or a great employee, I'm going to go with the family side. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, to me at least, I feel like that's the one that will have the bigger impact. It's like you can't have a. But I like that money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just can't have a great, like, a, a great success in your professional life if your personal life sucks. It's like that's going to go into your professional life, like vice versa. It was like, yeah. it's real hard to have both. I'm like, it's like you need to have be successful with both, or else, like, one's going to creep to the other. And it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But. Great success. So, probably personal, because then that would help out with the professional. Like, personal. Mm-hmm. It's more than the professional. But your professional might be influenced by your personal. We're getting deep on the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here goes a not so deep one. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, snap. All right. This is going to be the last one. All right. All right. This is going to be the question of the day. Oh. Would you rather. No pressure. <laughs> Sorry. Would you rather sleep on the floor with a pillow and a blanket or sleep on a bed without a pillow or blanket? This is one of those questions. Like the toilet paper, top or bottom questions. That people tend to really have a strong opinion one way or the other. Not quite sure why, though. Oh, man. Oh, I already know my answer. I already know my answer, too. What's your answer? Uh, I need a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it's so comfortable. I have the same exact answer. <laughs> I'm, like, it's, I'm like, it's so comfortable. <laughs> No, it's something like wrapped over me. Like sometimes even when I'm hot, I feel like I need a blanket so I can try to find like a light. That's why I have a light blanket that it's not necessarily hot, but it's cool. Mm-hmm. But if I'm in the bed without a blanket, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I can't sleep without a blanket. Like I need a blanket over me to fall asleep. Like I'm sure I can get away without the pillow. Like I just put my hand underneath my head or something like that. Like that's not going to be the issue. The issue is the blanket. I need that blanket. Uh, and sure, my back might hurt because I don't have the back support laying on the floor. But I'll suck it up. I'll take aspirin or whatever, like Motrin, to <laughs> numb my pain during the day. But it is, at least I'm sleeping sound. It's like so comfortable. It's like, yeah, something wrapping over you. Oh. Just thinking about it makes you sleepy. Like, I just want to go to sleep now. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath your weighted blanket. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I'll use that for like a week. <laughs> no, I don't use it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. But that can be our question of the day. So let us know um, what your guys' answers to that is. If you are listening to us on 
YouTube, you can let us know in the comment section, or if you're listening to us on any of the podcast platforms, you can email us your answer to that um, at TalkmenTuesday at gmail.com. And again, the question is, would you rather sleep on the floor but have a pillow and a blanket, or would you rather sleep on a bed without the pillow and blanket? Um, If you guys have some funny reasonings or just interesting, I guess, answers to that, uh, we can read through those. And also, if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about next week, let us know and we can cover those topics. Uh, This week, it was actually brought to us by Bill Gates. Um, I don't know why the owner of Microsoft wanted us to talk about Apple products, but he did. Um, And so thanks, Bill, for that one. So again, if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about, let us know and we can highlight those (laughs) next week. Um, but in the meantime, if you guys have any feedback for us too, we're always looking to improve. So let us know and we are happy to improve your listening pleasure. Um, but in the meantime, I mean, stay safe, social distance, unless you are vaccinated, then you can give somebody a hug and make sure to tell someone you love them. But we will talk with you guys more next week. Thank you guys. Peace.